and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're going to tell you about a wonderful opportunity to have some fun golfing and also give back to the community. My guests are Michael Alexander. Welcome. Thank you. And Walter Washington. Thank you. Now, you gentlemen are from the Boys and Girls Club. That's correct. And tell us just a little bit about the organization and what it does. Okay. We're with the Greater Hampton Roads uh, Boys and Girls Club units. That's five units. And, but we're also affiliated with the Virginia Peninsula Boys and Girls Club organization, which represents a total of 15 units. So 15 units across Hampton right. Roads. Yours specifically is five. is five. Right. And concentrated kind of in the southeast community right. of Newport News and the Shell Road exactly. quarter in Hampton. And, exactly and right. Many of them at, at housing projects. Exactly. Yeah. That is very true. So you guys work to keep, give productive right. ath and athletics and activities right. for right. kids. Our, our primary uh, goal uh, and responsibility on the board is uh, fundraising activities. We have two major fundraising activities annually. We're looking to expand that. The, the first one is the gala, which, which takes place uh, in April uh, each year. Um, and then we also have this uh, golf tournament each year. And, and obviously we're in our 30th year of doing the golf tournament. Oh, wow. Absolutely. That sounds like fun. And you got involved specifically because of golf. Is that right, Walter? Yes. Mr. Johnson asked me to come down and help support a golf tournament. And I've been there for the last 25 years supporting him. So my time is kind of running out. And Mr. Alexander, he's going to take over the uh, chairman of the tournament. So I'm there to just help coach him along. All right. So how many people typically come out for this golf tournament? Well, it varies the year to year. Last year we had about 68 people play. The year before that we had 80 and then 100. It's kind of dropping down because of all the tournaments they're having in the area. A lot of organizations right. use golf. They right. heard about the, the boards club was making money, so everybody <laughs> now wants to get on board. Including other uh, boys and girls club organizations. Ah. So we're competing with quite yeah, a few. Yeah, it's hard so. to compete. So you we're know. really trying to get the word out on this particular event. So, um, how does the fun, how does the tournament work? How do you register? When is it? All that. Let's let's start with okay. some of the details. Well, we have a flyer that okay. we've sent out to the previous participants, and uh, folks interested in participating can also go online. That's www.bagclub, boys and girls boys club. Boys and girls. Okay, bag and, club. And they go dot to org dot, org com, or dot com. Dot com. Okay. They go to events. And then under events is all events, and then they'll see the golf tournament. And they, okay. they can step through that menu, and they can register. They can sign up for being a sponsor. There are a number of things. They can actually pay at that website as well. Okay. And I'll just right now commit to putting you on the Hampton um, under community events, under the Hampton.gov awesome. calendar. So okay. people go on there and search Great. for golf. They should be able to find it. Thank if, you. If Thank you very that. much. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it is... Um, in Hampton at the Woodlands right. Golf Course, wonderful right. golf course, uh, kind of walkable. I mean, a lot of mm. people um, use that use that course. It's a it's a fun place. It's a two main team, uh, either two person team. Right, right, right. right. That's what that's I mean. a, this, this is the most fun tournament in the area. Right. It's for two days. We give away more prizes than any tournament in the area. Oh, that sounds so like fun. We prizes. want to bring the people in so they can enjoy most tournaments in this area. They only have first, second, and third place winners, and they recoup a lot of the profit. But we like to give something back to the players. It's a fun tournament. It's two days. The first day, it's uh, Florida best ball. That is when you hit two shots, you pick the best shot until you get it in the hole. The fun part is the second day, they play best ball. You play your ball, your partner play his ball, and you take the best shot. And that's the pressure of the game. Gotcha. Uh -huh. And, it's, and a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. The, the one team won it three years in a row. They backed out. Mike Askew and Steve Witten. They were hard to beat. And they've got a little competition in there now. So <laughs> everybody's looking forward to it. When is your tournament? When is your tournament? So we're looking to a great year this year. And what Walter has shared with me is that we have a number of participants that have supported our golf tournament over the years. 
And so when, when they come there to play in a tournament, it's like a little social. So it's, it's a lot like people. a social. You can see they're happy mm -hmm. to see each other. They haven't seen each other in a, in a little bit. So it's, a, it's more of a social uh, event as well as a competitive tournament. Okay, and you guys raise seven, eight thousand dollars, up to ten thousand right. dollars, and that really goes to support the kids. Absolutely, that's you know, Absolutely. you're not just doing it oh, to raise money. Absolutely, for, it, it, it goes for absolute. their educational programs. Have their uh, uh, programs that teach them the the uh, benefits of leadership and good citizenship. Uh, there goes uh, one of our primary goals is to increase the number of children who feel like they can graduate from high school. Uh, the, the Boys and Girls Club, keeping, them on, keeping them on track and and aspiring to uh, go higher and believing they can go higher. So that's that's part of what this is all about. Well, you know, these days especially, we're hearing a lot, and, and it's hit the southeast community two years ago. Hampton had a, a rise in gun violence among teens. Right. It's a real problem out there, right. and the more organizations right. who get involved right. and provide Absolutely. Mentoring and Absolutely. and alternate, you know, proper alternatives for that's kids, right. whether that's athletics or academics right. or right. you know arts or whatever. Right. Right. You guys give them a place to go right. and a, exactly a right. model right. to right. follow. You, you just described the boys' club. <laughs> Have I? I hope so. <laughs> yes, I mean, you did. You know, I've yeah. learned a lot about it. I spent a United right. Way day of right. caring painting right. one of the facilities one year. Oh, I mean, wow. it's a really? it's a wonderful way. Wow. for kids and you know not every kid fits in every every grouping right, exactly. so we've got community organizations that work right. with different right. kinds of kids different right. exactly groupings right. and um, people need to find their niche yeah. and if you go online it'll you can see a lot of the programs that uh, we have as a corporate uh, body um, and you, there are some statistics in there about uh, there's a very high number of uh, kids who attend our clubs that uh, don't participate in drinking, don't participate in smoking, and they believe and expect that they will graduate from high school. So those are part of the success stories that uh, we're working toward. It's so important. Did either of you take advantage of a, of a boys, uh, they probably weren't boys and girls clubs then. I forget when that merger <laughs> I think happened, it was uh, 91, I believe, that we became boys and girls. Uh, I think the Virginia Peninsula was established in 46, 1946. So yeah, you're right. There was a time when it was. So did either of you use any, you know, a service of that type, or it wasn't your thing? I was in a similar program when I was in college as a part of the staff. It was part of my college uh, training, uh, where I assisted in a, in a boys' club mm -hmm. in Columbus, Ohio, but not specifically the boys and girls club. So you've been more on the mentor side than uh, necessarily a participant. Exactly. That's good. So why are you on the board? What makes you well, give of your time because I for want, this organization? Because I, I want to see our uh, young men and women do better. I want them to, to provide whatever support that we can as a board, uh, board of directors, to help them uh, uh, achieve their goals, uh, educational goals, their, their life goals, and uh, keep those statistics coming where you're, they're not involved in activities that are detrimental to their future and their well-being. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what about you, Walter? I want to challenge all golfers on the peninsula <laughs> and across the water to come participate in this tournament to help us out. If you can't play, send money. That's right. There <laughs> you go. If you go. can't send money, make, take out an ad. <laughs> Everything's on the program. Right. They said the Lord loves the cheerful giver. So y'all that can't play, send money. Right. So yes, send money, and but really come play, right? right. Yes. Absolutely. It's yes. a ton of fun yeah. if you can golf. I, I fortunately, I think I might learn yeah. that later in yeah. life, but I, I'm not there yet. You and me both. But there are about three or four, three or four ways they can support this tournament. Is as like Walter said, they can they can uh, participate in by playing. Uh, they can sign up as an individual, one person, or they can sign up as a two-person team. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask, too. Right. Do you have to have a partner, or do you match people up if they sign up? We'll match them if they okay. don't have a partner. All righty. Right. So also, there's no right. excuses. Oh, no. Right. no. And also, you can donate gifts as door prizes. Right. Oh, okay. Right. right. So, so you, all kind you of can, ways you can help. Absolutely. So, and then there's sponsorship, various sponsorship levels. And and when if they go online, they'll see the levels of sponsorship an organization okay. can 
can uh, participate in. And uh, there's the ad, which we, we will have a, a glossy uh, booklet uh, pertaining to the tournament, and they can place ads in that all okay. the way from a quarter of a page to a full page. So, so some business sponsorships, Absolutely. things like that. Absolutely. Okay. Just All right, so tell us again when it is, and obviously we should register ahead of time because it's going to fill up, absolutely. right? Absolutely. You, you know, it's the competitive yeah. thing. We should right. get in there yeah, right absolutely. now, right, Walter? Right. right. It's <laughs> August the 1st and 2nd. We always get the first week in August. Okay. Right. So plenty, Happens time, every year. plenty of time to plan. It's just like Santa Claus. You know he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. All right. And, uh, and I think people will enjoy yeah. it, and it's a good cause. Yeah, so absolutely. when you're having money and you're giving right. back all at the same time, it's a win-win, awesome. win, right? Yeah. Exactly. Well, that thank you great. all for coming. Good thank luck you. in your thank golf you, tournament. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, if you do play golf, you would be interested in this. And if this isn't your thing, maybe you look for another way to support the Boys and Girls Club and the mission they have in helping the youth in our community. Thanks for watching.